What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So, if you drive a diesel, you know that the EGR is bad for the engine. It's not good because it recycles old warm air back into the intake. It can melt the intake actually, and it just makes everything dirty. So my stepdad went and he... Sorry, there's a lot of traffic. So my stepdad went and he blocked off the EGR. He got the blanking. Well, he didn't even really get the blanking plates. Martin, the guy that did my car, built in blanking plates. I'm gonna put everything in so you can see the whole process. He built them a, a custom intake, so from the turbo to the front on the with a cone air filter, custom intake because he had a cone but it was on plastic pipe. So now he's got a stainless steel custom intake from the turbo and they blocked off the EGR. I don't know if the car is faster, but it does feel a bit more responsive. So the idea is to do a 0 to 60. But before we do that, I just want to show you all the work Martin did. Because like I said, he built the EGR, he closed it completely. And he also did the custom intake. And I mean, a custom intake is pretty cool. And just to go on and get a proper cone filter for these cars are quite expensive at the end for his ever. So let's put in those clips now. So today my stepdad is going in to build a custom intake for the 120D. Uh, it's not going to make it any faster, but it's going to look bloody cool. Hopefully he's going to take some videos of how he's building it and everything. And then I can show you how it looks at the end of the day. So this is probably going to be a super short video. But he's going to do an EGR delete. Because he's still got the stock EGR. It is off on the software. But he's going to like actually delete it and put the blanking plates in. And then build a custom intake with this yeah and this is all, all of this is coming out so it's all going to be stainless steel aluminium look at your doggy stainless steel aluminium everything custom it's going to look bloody awesome i don't think there is another 120d with a custom intake if there is i'm sorry don't know about it but i don't think there's another one so i think this is going to be one of one I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see it's true But the world is pretty cold, you might need a sweater too I'ma put a ride on ya, came from California Trying to make it a life, it's school that never taught ya Dreams of my own, I've been working from home I can do it on my own, but sometimes it gets cold like After Morton was done, we had to do a coolant flush because when you t take out the EGRs, all of your coolant is going to be everywhere. So you just put in normal water, but you should run a 50-50 mix of the BMW coolant with distilled water. So we just had to drain it, which is a much bigger job than you would think actually. Okay, so we just got the car back yesterday and with the EGR delete, we drained the fluids and they didn't have coolant, so we just threw in water. And to get the water out of this car is a bitch, okay? You need to drop the entire intercooler to get to the drain plug because the drain plug on the radiator is below the intercooler. To drop the intercooler to get to the pipes, you have to take out the fan shaft. Shorty always here, but don't ever listen. Shorty thought I was a chef the way I'm in the kitchen. She gon' think about me when the nigga missing. Stars on the wraith, got a nigga wishing. Swimming with the sharks, so please don't go fishing. She gon' think about me when the nigga missing. She says she always here, but don't ever listen. 
and now we are here the car is done she's got a no EGR anymore it's blocked off on the well the actual EGRs are blocked off and the software it's blocked off as well otherwise you would have some bad errors and shit and he's got the custom intake downpipe stage to this car is running very well now so I think the next step to do is to do a 0 to 100 to see if the car is faster because I think previously before the EGR on the custom intake we did a 6.3 second 0 to 100 um, that was the base of the car so anything more or anything less actually because it's 0 to 100 is better now I don't know if it's going to actually be faster because it might just be like a mental thing the car feels a bit more responsive but it's just you every time you do something on a car you want to believe it's faster so I don't know if it's actually faster but I'm sure the engine is more happy than it was before and it's a bit softer weirdly enough like the the car is softer without the EGR I don't know if that's normal okay let us do the test what do you think you think it's gonna be faster or slower it is a bit of an uphill but rather an uphill than like cheating video clip I just showed you I didn't even tell you the time that we got out of the car now our previous time was a 6.3 seconds on a slight uphill it was a cool day because it was still in the winter or not completely winter like in between winter and summer um, and it was 6.3 not bad now I can tell you the car is actually slower but it was warm it was one hot as day um, it was like 33 34 degrees Celsius so it was proper warm but it was a 6.8 seconds on exactly the same piece of road. So it was actually slower. The throttle, throttle response did feel better though, but it was, it was slower, unfortunately. Um, I can tell you that the crankcase, oh, the crankshaft pulley did snap like less than a week later. So maybe that thing had an effect. That shouldn't may have an effect at all. If I'm honest, if you think about it, it shouldn't have an effect. But still, any excuse is fine. <laughs> Um, but the car is going to get modified even more. So there's big modifications coming soon. Be excited. Trust me. Anyways, I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.